Uh, well, I mean, I'm, I have a chance to establish my role, but I mean, I'm just doing whatever I can to better the team, um, doing whatever the coaches ask me to do. Is it weird without Reggie out there? Uh, I mean, the first, the first day is kind of weird, but I mean, after that, I mean, the next few days, I mean, you know, it's just part of the process where guys are going to come, do their time, and they're going to go on ahead and go to the next level. Have you seen uh, Ruben's leadership role expand this year? Uh, it's, it's definitely, it just gets better and better. I remember um, telling him in the off-season program, I was like, man, I remember when I first enrolled early, how he seemed like the younger guy, kind of like me, and now he's definitely taking taking that leadership role, being like Coach Saban said, Alpha Dog, where he's the one who's leading the defense, you know, telling the guys, let's finish this and lean by example. John, how much are you talking to, to Matt right now and just helping him get a feel for what he's going to need to do or what he needs to do now to be as prepared as possible? Uh, we, we, text, we text during the week or whatever. And, um, he, he's been up here to like three or four practices, so I mean, every time we're together or whatever, we'll go over some of the playbook things and stuff like that, so I talk to him a lot. And how far back does that relationship go? Uh, we've been friends since, so um, i probably say he was in middle school. How do you like working with Jeremy? Uh, he's a, Coach Brewer, he's a, he's a great teacher of the game. Um, I'm really going to enjoy playing for him. Uh, I remember when he first came, I could just tell how he came off that. He's been a great guy to play for, and uh, he knows his stuff. He's been in the system already before, so, I mean, it's not really a big adjustment for him, but he's going to have his little tweaks about the system. but. He's going to be a great guy to play for. Yeah, just mentioning his name, your face kind of lights up, you smile. What is it about him? Is he, I've heard he's a player's coach. Oh, yeah, he definitely is. I mean, when you sit in the meeting room with him and you, know, you go through meetings, I'm pretty sure like all the other guys on the team will say the same thing. I mean, you can't do nothing but want to practice hard and play hard for him. How does his style compare to Kirby Smart? Um, I would probably say Coach Smart was kind of a coach who would um, – it's kind of like a loud kind of guy, like getting your face type coach. Coach Pruitt, I mean, he's, I won't say he's laid back because, I mean, when you make him mad, he's definitely going to get on to you, but um, they're just different styles. How tough, you know, is Max defend, how tough is it to defend OJ Howard? Oh, uh, man. Talking about a great player, I mean, I'm glad he's on our team and not on the other team. I mean, going up against him every day at practice, I mean, whether if he has his hand in the ground or if he's split out, I mean, I know that. I'm not going to find too many 6'5", 250-pound tight ends who can run routes like they're Calvin Ridley size. So, I mean, it's great going up against him. He definitely makes us better. You know, Max, since he was in middle school, how did you guys meet? Uh, we actually met because, um, well, I – I, I keep up with like the kids in our area, and he was like, everybody was talking about this Matt kid who was like the hottest thing in middle school. He was, he was already like six one in like middle school, so I'm like, I gotta, I gotta meet this kid. He's supposed to be like the next big thing or whatever. They're talking about how he was gonna start as a freshman in high school or whatever. So, I introduced myself like that. So he lived up to the middle school hype. <laughs> yeah, he definitely did. What grade were you in at that point? Uh, I was in the what, tenth grade I want to say. It seemed like you guys talked a decent amount during the recruiting process that you were an asset for him just as he tried to make a decision. Oh uh, yeah, he he came to me uh, asking me for advice, a lot of advice or whatever. And I mean, I'll, I'm not the kind of guy who's gonna. I've been told him in the process that I wasn't. I'm not gonna just recruit you to Alabama. Don't I know people gonna tell you that you're gonna go to Alabama or yeah. He's gonna tell you this and that just because he's there. But I mean, I told him from the jump. I mean, hey, this your recruiting process. Don't let me influence you at all because I mean, you worked hard for it, not me. Matt caught on Twitter, uh, I guess last week, kind of announced about the shoulder surgery. How have you kind of seen him uh, work through that a little bit? You know, it's kind of a middle of summer kind of issue. Uh, well, I mean, he's he's gonna be ready to go. I mean, we got a great athletic um, training program, so he's gonna be sturdy. He waited all the way until signing day to announce his decision. Did you have a sense earlier than that of where he was going to go, or did you find out the same time Reels did? No, I didn't know where he was going to go. Of all the uh, early enrollees and redshirt freshmen, who, who's really standing out uh, at this point? You know, it's too early. Um, the Jonah Williams, the, the offensive lineman who came in, he's, he stood out a lot. Um, he's 
doing great, adjusting to everything. I know he came in and practiced with us a little before the national championship game, so you can tell that it's definitely paying off for him. Two more questions. Focus on after last season. Where do you feel like you're better now compared to where you were at the end of last year? Uh, I'll probably say I'm just uh, better with making all the calls and um, moving around in space and just um, just using all my teammates, I guess. What's it like trying to tackle Last one. Uh, I mean, it's not really a difference. I mean, when you practice against <laughs> Derrick Henry for two years or whatever, I mean, they got the same body style, so sure. it's not that much of a big difference. Nick, you mentioned your size and how much strength and speed you've got. How, how much bigger you've gotten, you think, since you've been here? Uh, I really don't keep track of that, man. You know, I'm really just trying to get better day by day and doing what I have to do to just get better. How do you feel with the, the extra weight and the exercise? Do you feel like you carry that pretty well? Yeah, uh, my size never bothers me, you know. Um, like I said, you know, I just lift weights and run and try to get better, and then, you know, my body just goes along. Even with Jonathan Allen out, how has he helped you with your process of Guys, no, Mac, just real quick. Let's not, we're not going into other recruits that aren't here yet, Mac Wilson stuff. We're not going to go there, okay? Somebody asked a Mac Wilson question a while ago. He, these guys don't know, okay? Right. Please don't put him in that spot. I was just asking, even with Jonathan Allen out, how has he helped you, you know, through this process, throwing into a defensive end and on the line and everything? Well, the good thing about it is the whole D line is, is a brotherhood. So everybody helps each other out, you know, and um, it has been great. How much did the way you ended the season, you know, you had a big championship game, a good playoff in general, how much did that help you coming into this spring? Um, like I said, that game was in the past. Uh, I don't think about that anymore. I'm just trying to focus on preparing for next season and, you know, having a good season next season. Uh, just everything um, that a, a player should work on, you know, uh, effort, getting to the ball, just little things, technique, uh, as if every player should, you know, each year just trying to get better and better. How much with some of the losses along the D-line, how much does that kind of put opportunity on your shoulders to kind of really make a big impact? I haven't thought about that. That's a good question. Uh, like I said, man, you know, I don't think about any of the things that I can't control. I just try to focus on, you know, working on things to get me better as a player. Which one of the quarterbacks is the toughest to chase down? <laughs> they all fast. They're all fast and they all can throw. They're all good athletes. Um, so, ooh, that's a good I don't know, man. They all good, man. They all swift, so. How is it like having uh, Josh Chapman kind of watch over some of you guys? Josh Chapman, a former player here, that's now kind of not just a strength and conditioning guy, but looking over some defensive line stuff as well. Uh, I mean, he's around and, uh, you know, he just, you know, has fun, so. How would you compare uh, coaching style of the best coordinator, um, uh, Jeremy Pretty Pruitt with, um, with Kirby Smart? How would you compare their styles? They're both great coaches. Um, Kirby was a great coach. Now, you know, Coach Pruitt is stepping in. Uh, you know, of course, he's a, a new guy, but uh, he's not really new because he's been here before. So a lot of people know him, like, you know, when we were recruits because uh, when we were young in high school, he was here. So it's not really much of a difference. Sean said that he was, that Jeremy's almost a little more laid back personality wise. Do you kind of sense that between him and Kirby? Uh, man, uh, you know, he's, he's a good guy, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I just talk to Coach Bo Davis the most, most of the time, you know, so. What's, what did you learn the most from when you got here with Sean Robinson, Jeremy? What would they teach you? Uh, technique, man. Uh, man, when I got out of high school, I just like one little step and the whole play can go by you. So uh, that was the biggest thing, just keeping your feet set and striking out first, you know, hips and hands and then your feet will follow. What easier you in high school to just physically dominate people than when you Yeah, in high, in high school, you could just run and make a play, you know, because you were just, you know, bigger and faster. Now, you know, everybody's bigger and faster. So it just really comes down to hand playing technique. Oh, Coach Bo is amazing. Uh, he demands the best out of you every single day. So, um, I love that man. He just has to embrace being like the enforcer last year in the team, keeping guys in line. Is there a guy that's kind of doing that either on the D-line or on defense in general, keeping guys in check? Um, like I said, we all a brotherhood, uh, you know, so uh, when someone needs to be checked, someone's going to do it. Uh, it doesn't matter, you know, who the person is. Sean, you talked about people, everybody being bigger and faster. 
Is that frustrating when you first get here that you got to catch up? Or? No, I feel like every football player, if you're a competitor, you will just that'll just drive you or motivate you to want to like you know get better in your technique. So then you can actually be effective in the game and you know start making plays and you know uh, producing the system that we have. Is there a moment when you got here that kind of like was like that light bulb moment where you realized that it's going to be maybe tougher? Maybe the very first day. <laughs> so <laughs> that's when the very first day it was like, wow, okay, I'm, this is college football. All right, I got it. Did you specifically teach you that lesson on the other side of the line or anything? Man, I can't remember. That was two years ago. So <laughs> Nick has these you guys meetings with uh, players after every season. What was this kind of message to you when he wanted you to improve upon or work upon this year? Uh, just build on, keep building. Uh, you know, don't take a step back. Just you know, keep moving forward and uh, keep coming along and. Um, you know, I understand the playbook fully. Uh, just, you know, keeping my motor up and uh, getting better with my technique. What has been your approach? I mean, compared with last year when you had guys like Aishan and Jared, you know, with you, what's been your approach this spring? Are you, excuse me, I'm sorry. What's been your approach this spring? You've had other guys, you had a lot more veterans last year along the line where you could kind of refer well, to. Them. I know it sounds like, you know, I'm kind of repeating myself, but I mean, that's just the God honest truth. Like, when I first got here, uh, even compared to last year, even compared to this year, I'm just trying to be the best player I can be. And, um, you know, wherever the coaches decide to put me, that's where they decide to put me. Uh, I just earned it. You guys have a, speaking of it changing just a little bit, um, you got your first scrimmage coming up this Saturday. Oh, yeah, what man. What is different about uh, that particular? Man, it ain't nothing different about a scrimmage. A scrimmage is just live ball. It's the closest thing to a game we're going to have uh, until A Day. So I'm excited because, you know, it's been dang near, what, like two, three months since we last played. So I think everybody is excited just to put the pads on and go live. You actually hit somebody. So. Do you remember your first scrimmage? Oh, yeah. That was a couple years Man, yeah. Woo. Woo. I don't want to talk about that one too much. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. We ain't going to talk about that one right there. And so, not for the media, boy. You can talk to Coach Ball about that one. So. This might be kind of a strange question. Any of the coaches or other players ever confuse you for both Scarrow? Same jersey. You know what? Okay, crazy story. When we were, uh, I think it was either, I think it was Arizona. Yeah, it was Arizona. It was at Media Day. Um, I was like on like this little radio thing and uh, one of the guys was like, all right, and uh, you know, one of the guys is going to be toting the ball next year, <laughs> number nine, but, and then the, the other guy was like looking at him like, and I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> so then he was like, so once he was like, yeah, Bo Scarball, how, how does it feel to uh, be behind Derrick Henry? And then um, the guy was like, well, I don't know about that, but he, he might be hitting Derrick Henry in practice. He's one of the <laughs> 14 guys on the D-line, so it was just, you know, it was a little mix-up, but I mean, we both have helmets on, we're both big, and uh, we both have number nine, so, hey, you know. Speaking of confusing, has anybody ever said you look like a young Mike Tyson? Oh, no. Oh, man, come on, man. Don't do me like that. Oh, no. Nah, man. Uh, yeah, you know, I've actually got that before, and uh, hey, it is what it is. He was a great, you know, he was aggressive, and Hey, you know, <laughs> this is what it is. I like to think I just look like Deshaun Hand. So. Well, what's it like when that other number nine goes goes through the hole? You know. Oh, ball scar ball. Yeah. Oh yeah, he man, he brings it. So you better bring it. So he, he's a man. <laughs> what about Damian? What have you seen from him? Obviously, Damian came in last year too. All the backs are are great. You know, um, they hit the hole. They're fast. They're strong. So can't complain. What do you feel like the last one? Oh, everybody goes against everybody. So it's just, you know, uh, one of them things, you just get better. Okay. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.